Hi, how are you? All right, good morning. Easy one right away. What was your take on the practice slash fights that happened yesterday? Yeah, it's unfortunate. We got a lot of good work done throughout the course of the day, and sometimes that gets overshadowed by an unfortunate incident. And uh, it's behind us now. We're going to move forward today and uh, get a lot of good work done. Did you talk to the guys and like last night or this morning emphasize, hey, we really can't have this? And are there any, you know, I know the Jaguars. Uh, suspended a couple of players for fighting in practice. Is that something that you would consider doing if things get out of control again? Yeah, we could consider doing that. You know, um, it's been addressed, and we talked about it last night, and uh, we'll talk about it a little bit out there, and we'll have a short, quick, fast whistle uh, if something happens and uh, get everything under control. But the most important thing is for us, uh, myself and Coach Bowles, is to get good work done. Like I said, there's a lot of great things on tape that we can learn from, seven-on-seven, nine-on-seven, team, special cat, one-on-ones. Stunts. I mean, we got a lot of good work done, so uh, we intend to do that today. Yesterday, you walked off the field with Morgan, with Mo Morgan Moses. What, what was behind that? Uh, Morgan was a little hot. You know, he's a little heated, and uh, I just want to get him calmed down a little bit. You know, he took a shot on the sideline, and uh, he's got a couple bad ankles, and, and uh, he took offense to it. And I didn't think he was going to get much work done that day, so we just want to get him here cooled down and get his ankles looked at. Were there uh, any injuries to report from yesterday? Uh, not really. Just some of the same guys, bumps and bruises here and there. Um, a couple guys won't practice. We'll see how they do an individual. Probably Ty and Secchi will be down. Um, you know, Josh Harvey Clemens is still down. Uh, Tyler Catalina is still down. Um, and then we'll see how it goes with the other guys. Uh, will Morgan practice today? Morgan's going to try to go, yes. A lot of a lot of your players were saying yesterday that they feel like some of those fights in these practices are predictable because looking around the league, this keeps happening. They didn't seem to be all that in favor of it, in part because of that. Do those situations like that alter, you know, change your thinking as to the productivity of these kind of practices? I don't think they happen all the time. I just think they get uh, blown up when they do happen. So it seems like they happen all the time. Just. They've happened to us the last couple of times, unfortunately, and uh, you know that's on me. You know I got to do a better job of making them understand the importance of practice and getting work done and not fighting. So uh, one guy gets in a fight, we just got to do a good job of uh, letting the referees handle it, let the coaches handle it, and everybody else stay back. Um, that happens in a game. There's multiple ejections and penalties that'll cost our football team, and that's uh, the most important thing we got to make sure we get across. But today uh, is a new day, and we intend on getting a lot of good work done. Coach, uh, multiple players said that they were responding to what they considered a cheap shot that started the main scrap. Does that in any way change your response to the players after the fact in terms of your messaging to them about the fight? We have a close-knit group, uh, and they're very protective of one another. So um, with that being said, uh, sometimes people overreact uh, when they're trying to protect their guy, and uh, that's kind of what happened yesterday. Who was wrong? Who was right? I'm not going to get into that. Uh, but today, uh, we're going to make sure we play to the whistle, and, and that's it, and, and move on to the next play. That's the intent. Coach, do you co – oh. <laughs> Coach, do you uh, – did you talk to Todd Bowles between the end of practice and this morning about the fights? Yes, we had a talk today. Uh, and happens again. Obviously, we'll separate and uh, take necessary action. With Pryor last year, how much was the injury a factor in him not being able to kind of contribute to what you guys maybe thought he could do when signing I think him? Uh, he probably knows that better than I do, but he only played in, what, five games? So obviously a lot, you know. So, uh, And then those five games he played, I'm not sure how that injury affected him running. I know that. He wasn't running as fast as he normally does because of probably that injury. So I'm sure it had a major effect on him. Jay, now that you've met with the officials, do you have a better, I guess, understanding of the helmet rule? And <laughs> I guess moving forward, how are you kind of talking to guys about that now? <laughs> we are in constant dialogue. We had the video. We've seen multiple videos. And uh, we understand what they're trying to do. Um, and we respect that. And we will try to play to the rules, uh, but there still are some gray areas there that I'm concerned about as a coach uh, that uh, can cost you football games and can cost players, you know, suspensions and all that. So hopefully those gray areas don't come up and bite you. But uh, in pro football, with the speeds of these players running and, and tackling and 
uh, trying to get their pads down. I think these things are going to be into question quite a bit. So hopefully uh, they'll err on the side of not throwing a flag instead of throwing a flag all the time. Tell what those gray areas are for you. I just think they're the bang bang type plays. You know, receiver goes up for a pass and the defensive back has a low target, and then at the last second the receiver ducks his head. I mean, is it targeting or not? You know, and a running back who lowers his shoulder to protect himself and, you know, his head happens to lead because his body leans forward and he hits the guy. Uh, is that a penalty on the running back? And there's offensive alignment issues. There's defensive alignment issues on bull rushes. There's, you know, I think you could probably, if you really look hard enough, you could probably throw a flag in every play. Uh, but the intent, obviously, we understand. We want to protect the players without a doubt. All right? But, uh, you know, at the f- speed that these guys play at, you know, it's not, it's easier said than done sometimes is my point. Coach, have your defensive backs expressed anything about their ability to defend with the, emphasis, the points of emphasis on contact and pass interference? Yes, you know, we had, you know, discussion about that yesterday. With, you know, the big thing is illegal contact after five yards. we got to, you know, get our hands off of them. Um, and then obviously, uh, you know, some of the PI calls. Offensive PI too, you know, there's an emphasis there. So uh, there's an emphasis on a lot of things right now. Hopefully it's not going to be a flag fest, but uh, we're going to try to coach up every situation, um, talk about all the penalties, uh, what could be, and, and get them coached up. And then hopefully uh, they'll have an understanding of what they can and can't do come game day. Jay, the, uh, you guys are going to wear the pink accented uniforms today for Think Pink. You know, what have you seen from this organization that has had such a you know, big impact on this movement? Yeah, I think uh, Mrs. Snyder's, uh, you know, she's the founder of it, and uh, this is a very serious uh, uh charity for us and uh something that we uh take a big part in and that, that'll never change uh as long as we're here so um totally respect that we're we're all in as far as that charity is concerned and, and we're proud to be part of it anything else coach thanks thank you thank you Well, obviously, uh, every game is unique. Every play is unique. Uh, We're working with the players here in camp. That's one of the things that we get to do here in camp is work with the players. And uh, we're trying to point out uh, plays that we think uh, could be an issue and, and we're suggesting.